12 signs you have a bad attitude and how to fix it. Nothing destroys happiness faster than a bad attitude. We all know that one person who seems perpetually negative, always finding the cloud in every silver lining, creating a problem for every solution. While others may try to help, the person with a bad attitude may push them away. This leads to loneliness, bitterness, and cynicism. And the worst part is that it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you're reading this article, maybe you're feeling stuck in a bad attitude, wondering how to break free. Well, the first step is recognizing the signs, and that's what we'll dive into now. 1. You have unreasonable expectations. Do you expect the world to bend to your whims? Unreasonable expectations are often a symptom of entitlement. When you expect others to cater to your desires without consideration for their struggles, you're displaying a lack of empathy. This attitude can become especially apparent in everyday situations, like when a customer demands special treatment or yells at an employee because they want to bend the rules. It's important to realize that not everyone is here to serve your needs, and compromise is a key to harmonious relationships. 2. You see everyone else as an enemy or competition. Do you feel like the world is out to get you? You might view everyone around you as either a threat or a rival. This mindset keeps you constantly on edge, seeing betrayal or malicious intent behind even the smallest actions. Living in perpetual competition with the world can be draining, leaving you always trying to outdo others, even when it's not necessary. It's a lonely way to live, and it isolates you from the very connections that could help you grow and improve. 3. You tend to see the world in black and white. In your eyes, it's either right or wrong, good or bad. There's no room for nuance or understanding that situations can be complex. People make mistakes, and the world isn't as clear-cut as we might want it to be. When you struggle to see the full picture, you miss opportunities for growth. It's crucial to embrace the gray areas in life, because that's where we learn to understand others better, and allow space for growth and forgiveness. 4. You demand respect without giving any. Respect is a two-way street. If you demand respect from others, but refuse to offer it in return, you're creating an environment of imbalance. While everyone deserves basic courtesy, respect is earned through actions and integrity. If you want others to treat you with respect, start by treating them with respect first. It's simple, yet often overlooked, but it can have a massive impact on your relationships. 5. You're always in a negative mood. A bad attitude goes hand in hand with chronic negativity. If you find yourself constantly angry, bitter, or cynical, you're probably projecting those emotions onto your surroundings. Most people who feel trapped in negativity don't enjoy it. They may be dealing with past trauma, unresolved issues, or emotional pain. It's crucial to address these underlying issues in order to shift your mindset and break free from the negative cycle. 6. You take pride in being unlikable. Some people wear their unlikability like a badge of honor. Why should anyone like me, they say, pushing others away before they can be rejected. While this might be a defense mechanism born out of insecurity, it's also a surefire way to isolate yourself. If you find yourself rejecting people or dismissing their attempts at kindness, it's time to reconsider the messages you're sending. It's okay to be vulnerable and allow others to see the real you. You're more likely to connect when you stop pushing people away. 7. You believe you are better than others. Arrogance and superiority often mask deep insecurity. People who believe they are better than others fail to see the full spectrum of human complexity. Just because you excel in one area doesn't mean you're flawless in every aspect of life. If you're quick to judge others or put them down, it could be a sign of your own self-doubt. Recognizing the value in everyone and treating them with kindness will help you feel more connected and grounded. 8. 
You always see yourself as the victim. If you often feel that the world is out to get you, it's a sign of a victim mentality. This perspective keeps you from taking responsibility for your actions and creates a constant state of self-pity. Acknowledging that your life isn't a series of unfortunate events, but rather a combination of choices, helps you regain control. Instead of focusing on how others are out to harm you, look for ways to improve and take responsibility for your life. 9. You can't be happy for the success of others. When someone else succeeds, does it trigger jealousy or resentment in you? If you feel bitter about others' achievements, it could be a sign of deeper issues like self-doubt or unfulfilled goals. Success isn't a limited resource. Someone else's win doesn't diminish your worth. Learning to celebrate other success can be freeing, and it helps build stronger, more supportive relationships. Remember, there's enough success to go around. 10. You cannot apologize. An inability to apologize is often tied to an unwillingness to accept fault or show vulnerability. Some people find it difficult to admit they've made a mistake because they fear it makes them weak. However, the ability to apologize is a strength, not a weakness. Apologizing shows maturity and an understanding of how your actions affect others. If you struggle with apologizing, consider why it's so difficult. Reflect on your past and recognize that you're allowed to be wrong sometimes. It doesn't diminish your worth. 11. You can't deal with other opinions or unwanted truths. Being unable to accept differing opinions or uncomfortable truths often points to insecurity or pride. If someone challenges your worldview, do you respond with anger, defensiveness, or even manipulation? Constructive criticism is a gift, not a threat. Learning to accept feedback graciously, even when it stings, will help you grow and improve as a person. It's okay to be wrong sometimes. It's part of being human. 12. Your friends and family have commented on your bad attitude. Finally, if the people who love you have pointed out your bad attitude, it's time to listen. Sometimes, we're too close to the situation to see how our behavior affects others. If your friends or family have been brave enough to speak up, it's a sign that they care about you and want you to improve. Take their feedback seriously and reflect on how you can change. How to fix a bad attitude. Now that you've recognized the signs, you might be wondering, how can I fix my bad attitude? The first step is acknowledging the problem. Then, you'll need to dig deeper to uncover the root causes of your negativity. Often, a bad attitude stems from unresolved trauma, mental health struggles, or unmet needs. One effective way to begin the healing process is to seek help from a therapist. A professional can guide you through the necessary steps to uncover the source of your negative behaviors. Simply trying to think positively or fake it until you make it is a temporary fix. To truly change, you need to address the underlying emotional and psychological issues that are fueling your bad attitude. Therapy isn't a quick fix, but it's the most sustainable way to create long-term change. By taking the time to work through your issues, you'll begin to shift your mindset and develop healthier habits. Additionally, consider practicing empathy, learning to see things from others' perspectives, and learning to be grateful for the good things in your life. Small steps like these can gradually change your outlook on life, helping you build stronger, more positive relationships along the way. Conclusion. Fixing a bad attitude isn't easy, but it's absolutely worth the effort. The first step is recognizing the signs and taking responsibility for your behavior. With dedication, self-reflection, and the willingness to seek help, you can begin the journey toward a more positive, fulfilling life. Remember, you have the power to change. Your future depends on it. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. 
Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.